Hey guys, Doug here from Trigger King, here with Josh Rhodes. Uh, this is a video I know that you guys, seeing from the comments, have wanted to see what goes into Josh Rhodes' Grave Digger. Uh, this truck has, in some iteration of it, has run almost every Trigger King event that we've had. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny because when a lot of us were running the older style chassis and really didn't know what the heck was doing, Josh was really putting a whooping on us with this. And uh, he's still doing very well, <laughs> now that we've all kind of upgraded. They, they caught up to me. Um, but it's one of our top trucks, and uh, you guys want to see it. So, Josh, take it away. What's in your Grave Digger truck? Well, this one's a brand new piece yes. for uh, Trigger King this year. It's a not Chaos Grave Digger. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one freestyle in the summer is going to not look as pretty as it is right now. But, uh, like I said, brand new piece, Chaos Chassis. It's the first digger I've had since my very first Grave Digger, way back in the day that had a green chassis. The old Diablo was that carbon fiber plate. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've had the so, plate sides. I had to go find a nice paint, so I went and found that Krylon uh, neon, uh, neon green paint. So that's what this is. Yeah. Krylon is. Yeah. It does. It does look it like pops. that. It looks like a digger neon. Yeah. Do you have it backed with anything? Uh, I just, just primered it. Put the, okay. that paint on. There's like four or five coats to get that pop of the green. It took a while to cover all that primer. Okay. Yeah, and then that makes uh, sense. I put one coat of clear on it, and it was good. Okay, so you did clear yeah, it. Yeah, I yes. cleared it once. That's something you guys should know out there. If you guys are going to be painting your chassis, spend the time and a little extra money to get the clear coat because when you beat these things up, it's a real pain to have to tear them down. Okay. Again, like that to repaint them. And well, the clear like I, really helps the chassis stay alive. Like I have so. to do with the Excalibur Pro mod because I screwed that thing Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you guys want to see under the hood, I'll take the body off, maybe. See, he's got the red lights hooked the red up Red lights there. are hooked up to the 9 volt. A lot of guys just plug it into the ESC. I've always liked the 9 volt. I think it's an easier setup. You don't have to mess it in with the receiver then? No, and I don't want to pop a receiver, which I've done before trying to do that. There's a lot going on here. This is a oh, race yeah. clot. <laughs> There's a lot going on in there. It's a little messy. Like I said, new truck. I still haven't even got a chance to tie this down yet. If I can pull it up. The receiver wire. Got a glitch buster in there because the steering does tend to want to wobble a little bit. So I got the glitch buster in there. It's an older one. That's why all the stuff ripped off of it. Uh, the dual Grotner setup that a lot of guys are running. Thanks to Bobby for turning me on to that. Yeah, pretty much all of us now are using the sensor Grotners. For, is it six? Are you using six fives? Yes. Okay. Yes. Those are some beasty little motors. Yeah, they're fast. Setups. When that turbo kicks, everybody goes ask, "How do you do the backflips? How do you do the backflips?" When you get up in the air like that, your truck's just pretty well stalled until you full throttle it. When you full throttle it with these Grotner setups, that wheel speed kicks in and it just flips that truck around in the air. Yeah. That's how you do those things. Uh, a lot of guys are trying to figure that out with like castle systems. They can't do it because they don't have that turbo kicking in. They could do it if they pop their throttle all the way up to 150%. Yeah, I'm gonna it, say you have to program it up. But again, if you're gonna spend the money, guys, on a you know on a nice mod motor, get a nice sensor setup. Oh yeah, it's just it's so much better than the brushless stuff, especially if you wanted to be doing some of the tricks and other things. Mm -hmm. They're just not as responsive if you use uh, without. Yeah, very true. So your flag mount here, what do you do for the? Because I know we always see people ask, how do you do the flag? Yeah. The flag I got there is just two plain black zip ties that I've cut the ends off of the bottom of and glued together with shoe goop. And then I drilled the smallest of hole through there and just kind of slowly worked that screw through there. And believe it or not, that's a sturdy little flag mount. That is held on for a very long time. That's I believe actually... it. All of us can see it. You can see your probably It flexes line. with the truck too. A lot of guys put a solid one on there and they'll go out, they'll make one hit, land, and they'll pop their flag I, off. I made that mistake with a retro back, mm -hmm. back in the day. Yeah, I kept breaking them so I said screw it. Yeah, it got to be flexible. I used to do just one, but then you get the issue. If you want to pan the camera over here. You do one, you get the issue of it wanting to do this and kind of leaning on one side or the other. You do two, that thing's always going to pop back straight. Yeah, it wants to keep its rigidity. Mm -hmm. It wants to be inflexible. Um, tires and wheels, these are, well actually you're using closed cells, right? Yes. So these are J-Concepts Renegade uh, yeah. Tires yeah. Tribute Wheels. Yep, yeah. J-Concepts Renegade Tribute uh, Wheels, blue compound tires, the inserts are crawler innovations. I can't plug them people enough. I really can't. I, they ain't paying me a dime, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I cannot plug them enough. The, the truck with those closed cell foams. As soon as I put those in there, it went from landing like a brick to landing I, like a pillow. I remember, I yeah. remember you put those in because you were having a hell of a time trying yeah, to. Yeah, that digger, the old digger with the shorter shocks on it. Uh -huh. These are the longer Proline shocks. The power rear, strokes. The correct. rear, the rear power strokes, yes, for the slash. They're the longer setup. With uh, the other truck, it had the short shocks on it. 
it's that chassis of the Diablo is more built for a carpet race. Mm -hmm. When you go out and you start hitting Trigger King jumps with the Diablo, that truck would land and would bounce over the next freestyle obstacle yeah. in front of it a lot. Now you'd have like tank it slappers just, too. It would slap so hard. And I'd always cringe while I'm driving. I know everybody loves that at home. <laughs> yeah. Watching that, but me behind the wheel, I'm like, oh God, what am I going to have to fix this one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, from when it slapped. Oh, yeah. So this servo. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen one from Savix with the skull on it before. <laughs> there was an old uh, CPE uh, upper link mount kit, uh -huh. and this was the upper link mount that would go right here. Oh, yeah. But it never stayed still. I never did like it, and I always thought, boy, if I hit something just hard enough, I'm going to snap that thing. So I've always had one of those just kind of sitting back, I playing see. in the background. I thought, what the heck, I'll just glue that on there, be a little added extra thing on there. I like it because it kind of matches. It's got the little red eyes on it, the red lights. Oh yeah. If I could figure out it looks a like a Terminator to, skull. That too, yeah. If I could stick a LED in there to make those lights shine <laughs> eventually, that would yeah. be kind of cool too. Another thing to worry about uh, breaking off. Also, real quick, I'll point out these uh, inserts right here. J Concepts Shapeway Store has those, and they have them in a multitude of colors. Yeah, you can order, right? You can yeah. Color order the color. Right? Yeah, I ordered the green ones because I, I they look like they're a darker green uh -huh. on that site. But when I got them, they come very close to matching the color of the chassis. All right, guys. So there you go, Josh. Thanks a bunch for showing this off. He destroys this truck repeatedly for your amusement out there. I, I try know, to. Anyway. I know he appreciates <laughs> it. You guys asking all the questions about it. So we're going to be doing more videos, especially with Josh. He's got a special retro project I know he's working on. We're going to talk about that when the summer comes around here, mm -hmm. um, when we're actually outside again and uh, some of the new trucks get debuted. So again, thank you guys for watching. We will see you next time.